Okay, so we're asked to solve these simultaneous equations. The one at the bottom is a formula for a circle, but that's of no interest at all. We're just finding out what x and y can be. Okay, there's going to be multiple answers to this. So looking at the first equation, we've got y equals this, 3x plus 11. And in the second one, we've got a y here. So all we need to do is replace that y in the second one with this bit here and I'm going to put it into brackets. If you don't put it into brackets you will get the wrong answer so make sure you put it into brackets. So I'm going to write out that second formula, the second equation, but this time I'm going to put in the 3x plus 11 squared or 3x plus 11 instead of the y and now I need to <laughs> rearrange this so that I've got a nice quadratic so the first thing I'm going to do is expand that bracket. So I'm going to do, uh, what is it, 3x times 3x is 9x. Uh, 3x times 11 is 33, plus another 33 is going to be plus 66x. And then 11 times 11 is going to be 121, equals 125. Uh, then I need to subtract, um, oh, let's, first of all, it's 9x squared because clearly x times x is x squared. So x squared plus 9x is 10x squared. Um, and we've got the plus 66x plus 121 equals 125. So we need to get rid of that 125, bring that across. So we need it equal to zero to use the quadratic formula. So 10x squared plus 66x, and what's that? It's going to be minus four, isn't it? Okay, now we've got um, a quadratic uh, equation. So we've got a equals 10, b equals 66, and c equals 4. So we need to know the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, so what you can do is just use your calculator to do this. Press the fraction button first. We're going to do the minus 66, because b is 66. And we're going to type in plus square root button. And where is it? 66 squared minus 4 times 10 times minus 4. Then click the down button, 2 times 10. And I'm just going to press equals. And that gives me 0.06 to two decimal places. But I'm going to leave that in my calculator uh, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this equation. It tells me how to find y. It says y is 3x plus 11. So y equals 3x plus 11. So what I'm going to do is just times that by 3 and then plus 11. So that gives me 11.18 uh, to two decimal places. So there's my first two solutions, 0 0.06 and 11.18. Then I'm going to see if I can go back. Does my calculator let me go back in time? No, it doesn't. So I'm going to have to press the fraction button again, type this all out. So minus 66, uh, and this time take away square root button, uh, 66 squared, minus 4 times 10 times minus 4 over 2 times 10. I could just write 20, but anyway. Okay, this time it gives me a value of minus 6.66. And again, I'm going to find out the y by times it by 3 and adding 11. So I'm going to times that by 3 whilst it's still in my calculator, and I've still got all the accuracy, plus 11. And it gives me minus 8.98. So my other two solutions are minus 6.66 and minus 8.98. And you could try and write down some estimated values um, for the marker in case you've made a mistake on the calculator. Try and write down as much as you can um, write down so you get uh, marks even if you've got the wrong answer.